I'm Melissa from Woods and Wool and I'm going to show you how to crochet the Ridge Cowl. This pattern is super fun and easy, but before we get started, I want to make sure that you grab the written version of the pattern. So head over to the link in the description box and you can grab the pattern for free from my website. Let's get started! For this pattern, I'm using Crazy Sexy Wool by Wool and the Gang and a 15mm crochet hook. If you'd like to use other yarns, I have some more options at the link in the description box. The first step is to make a slip knot. Then we're going to chain 31 chains. So one, two, three, four, five, and I'm actually going to pause right here to show you a little trick. So this pattern is going to be worked in the round, which means that we'll be joining our end chain to the beginning chain. So sometimes what can happen is your chains can twist as you're doing the first row, but I'm going to show you a trick so that we don't have that happen. So what you're gonna do is take the very first chain and slide it over the end of your crochet hook. Then you're just gonna keep chaining as normal until we reach 31 chains. So I finished my 31 chains and now all I have to do to join this is pull this working loop through the very first chain that's already on my hook. Then for my first round, I'll be working a half double crochet into each chain. So in order to half double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the first chain, yarn over again and pull that through the chain. So you have three loops on your hook. You'll yarn over again and pull through all three loops. And I'm going to do that into every stitch until I reach the beginning of this round. So we finished our first round and we did a half double crochet into each chain. Now that we're back to the beginning, we're going to be using the spiral method, which means that we're just going to simply keep working in the round without any fancy join or anything here as we move to the next round. So we're going to keep doing our half double crochets, but this time we're going to be working into the third loop. So when we work into the third loop, that's what starts to create the ribbing. So once I get a few stitches done here, I'll show you what that looks like and you'll be able to start to see the ribbing form. So you can already see the two ribs here that are starting to show. And again, we're not working into the regular part of our last stitch. We're working into the third loop. So if you turn your work towards you a little bit, you can kind of see that third loop and see where my finger is. That's where we're going to be working our stitches throughout the rest of the pattern. So keep going until you've worked nine rounds total and I'll meet you guys back at the end. So I want to check in with you guys. We're about at the halfway point here and as you can see the ribbing is working up beautifully and we're just going to keep on doing those half double crochets into the third loop until we finish all nine rounds. So we finished the end of the ninth round and as you can see, doing the spiral method really made this cowl seamless. You can kind of see where it steps up after each round, but overall it's a really beautiful seamless look. So now that we're at the end here, in order to kind of even out this last row, we're going to work three slip stitches into the regular loops of our previous round. So I'll show you what that looks like. We're just going to insert our hook yarn over and pull that through the last stitch and through the loop that was on our hook. So do that three times total. And that just gives us a really nice even edge at the top of the cowl. So now you can just cut your yarn, weave in your ends, and you're ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this pattern. I know I've had so much fun making these cobbles. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and check out the link in the description box to find more patterns and content from Woods and Wool. Thanks!